I decided to start playing on the Japanese Mabinogi server to see what some of the differences are and how populated the server is compared to ours. So get your drink, get your snacks, and buckle up because it all starts with the character creation and we're going to explore the... So first things first, I had to make sure I was picking the right server and I wanted to see the server names. So. I use Google Translate, um, it's like the lens thing where you can scan your screen and it'll translate it real time for you. So the three servers that Japan still has active are Mari, Tarlock, and Rari, the OG servers, right? Of course, of course, I am Team Mari. I picked Mari all the way, and it's, it seems to be the most populated server. Now I was trying to secure the name Hero, just Hero, just H. E R O, and that didn't work. So I went with only hero and that wasn't taken. Now to save some time, the character creation screen isn't any different. Honestly, I looked through all of it. It's all the same, except I notice when it comes to picking a class, there's actually a voiceover of like a lady talking to you explaining the class. And I don't, I don't think I, I don't remember that in the NA version. I'm pretty sure it's just dramatic music but if you listen carefully, you'll hear her talking right now. So relying on my muscle memory, I blew through the tutorial and nothing was different. Blanted was also the same as far as I could tell. And so I decided to go to Dumbarton. Tur was empty, which was a little surprising. It seems a little bit more relaxed, so I figured maybe the Japanese players would vibe here. That's where everyone used to hang out back in the day, so that was just my assumption. If I could hang out in Tur and convince my friends to hang out there, I would also do the same, but that's not the case. Everyone loves Dumbarton. So I wanted to see if this was the same. Maybe in a different server, there's a different hangout spot, especially with regional differences. Maybe everyone in Japan would hang out at Belvast or even Terra. Now, as soon as I got here, it felt so surreal. It felt odd. It felt weird because this is channel one. This is channel one Dumbarton. Now, in NA, if you went to channel one and you went to Dumbarton, you would have massive lag. It would be crazy. Looking around, I couldn't, I couldn't believe this was channel one. So this got my brain itching. Do I use Google Translate to talk to people or do I try to talk to people in English and hope they also know English? I, of course, went with the latter and shocked some people. Now, of course, I was translating what she was saying, but at the end of the day, she was like, hey, buddy, Playing on a Japanese server, I don't speak English. Get out of here. Kick rocks. So that's what I did. So I just kind of walked around Dumbarton. In the meantime, looking for people who weren't AFK and who weren't immediately running away. It's interesting to see how everyone dressed and how everyone also just AFKs in Dumbarton. It's like Mabinogi law. If you play Mabinogi, you get an AFK in Dumbarton. Like the fact that I even saw a group of people dressing up in the same sense and lining up reminded me of all the cousins on our server. It just made me chuckle. Oh, oh, and there's a guy that even looks like my guild leader who AFKs in the same exact spot. So I was like, this is crazy. If only it was channel five, then it'd be one to one. So I tracked down some people and spoke to some people and asked them about the state of Mabinogi in their region. I explained to them I was from the NA server. That always shocked them. I explained to them I was making this for a YouTube video. They were happy to talk to me, they just didn't want to be recorded, so I respect that. Now from my conversations with some people, NA seems to have it better right now. Which was kind of shocking to me. I just kind of had this image of my head of the Japanese server being a little bit better, a little bit, a little bit more populated. I did run into this one guy who spoke English as well. I didn't have to translate everything. I well, he he was typing in English, which was kind of shocking to me. But 
he, he said, yeah, this is as busy as the server gets. It just kind of makes me uh, appreciate what we have a little bit more in NA. Like, I know, I know people complain about population and all that stuff, but it will get better with time, especially Unreal Engine. And yeah, it just kind of, it just blew my mind. It made me feel a little bit more grateful for what we have. Now, whenever I get the chance, I'm going to want to... I want to play more on this server. I want to link up with some Japanese players that will absolutely carry me. And I want to see what kind of things they run, how they run them, what their meta is. I want to learn about this server and how people play it. Now, that will also present a fun challenge, completely free to play. And I think that will be interesting. I have to rank up a character again. So if you want to see more of this stuff, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And you know, maybe I'll run into some Japanese players that speak English and I can interview them and do content with them through Discord so that way you can hear them talking too about the game. Or even live stream it. I think that would be really cool. But for now, thank you so much everyone for watching. And I hope you look forward to the next part, and I'll see you guys next time.